Coming up on this edition of Carolina Insider, spring break chaos causes officials in Miami to implement a curfew. That curfew, we out here. <laughs> we out here, no sleep. Vaccine trials for veterans are causing some retired military members to be weary of getting a shot. Having been in combat wars all over the place and stuff, I shouldn't be say I'm afraid, but I think at my age I'm afraid. But first, the madness continues as the women's basketball team dominates in the NCAA tournament. Carolina Insider starts now. Hello and thank you for joining us. I'm Flynn Snyder. Our top story today, the South Carolina women's basketball team celebrates yet another win in the NCAA tournament and their fans are celebrating with them. Last night they gathered in bars and restaurants like the Thirsty Fellow to cheer the Gamecocks on in their game against Oregon State. The women won by a bunch 59 to 42 in advance to the Sweet 16 this weekend when they played Georgia Tech. The women's win in the first round gave head coach Don Staley her 500th career win. Staley also made headlines for other reasons, taking to social media to criticize the NCAA about the lack of workout facilities for the women's teams compared to the men's. One of, one of USC's players is also getting a lot of love on social media. Here with all the buzz on that today is Amber Lipscomb. Amber? That's right, Flynn. Instagram featured Gamecock women's basketball player Aaliyah Boston this week. Boston contributed to the hashtag Share Black Stories, explaining how her success makes her an empowered and influential figure for young black women. Students we talked to agree with Boston's perspective on black women's hardships and were touched by the spotlight post. I just really like that picture just because I feel like it captures a lot of the controversial things about black females in society. The post has over 600,000 likes and over 8,000 comments. All eyes are on Boston on and off the court as the sophomore averages 14 points a game during the NCAA tournament. That's it for the buzz. Back to you, Flynn. Amber, thank you. A new study finds black veterans are getting vaccinated faster than their white counterparts. 34% of black veterans have received the COVID-19 vaccine compared to only 29% of white vets. This comes after the Department of Veterans Affairs held listening sessions to better understand what minority veterans needed to know before getting the vaccine. As Forrest Tucker explains, some veterans here in Columbia weren't entirely thrilled with being at the front of the line for recent vaccine trials. Wednesday night at the VFW in Leedsville means pool, drinks, and catching up with friends. But for Vietnam veteran Gary Landry, there's more on his mind. The news that the Dorn VA hospital is recruiting veteran volunteers for a COVID-19 vaccine trial has him feeling uneasy. Having been in combat wars all over the place and stuff, I shouldn't be say I'm afraid, but I think at my age I'm afraid. Landry is not willing to participate because of his medical conditions, but a younger veteran, David Michael Tisdale, isn't so worried. I would take it because I know yeah. my immune system can handle it and that way they would also know that it, if it would work in the future or not. And that would be the only way I would take it is if they're, it's never been used before or if they say it's never been used before. While veterans we talk to are split on whether to volunteer or not, Dorn's executive director research does not. He says participants will be monitored closely after their initial visit. And then over the course of two years, there will be numerous visits where they will have uh, different vital signs taken, blood drawn, nasal swabs. The VA is coordinating trials from their headquarters here in Washington, following progress in Columbia and 16 other cities nationwide. Even though the VA will be looking after participants, Landry's mind is made up. No shots for him, but he hopes younger veterans will answer the call. I guess somebody's got to do it. And, if, and I think the younger people are probably the somebodies that hopefully will do it. If all goes well, Janssen could send out the fourth approved vaccine for COVID-19. For Carolina Insider, I'm Forrest Tucker. And that Janssen vaccine is made by Janssen Pharmaceuticals, a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson. It, along with Moderna and Pfizer's, is now approved for use across the country. AstraZeneca, though, hit a snag this week when it reported somewhat outdated information in its quest to become the fourth vaccine. In other COVID news, as of Monday, more than a million South Carolinians have been vaccinated, ranking fifth in the nation for vaccine distribution. The state ranks 17th in the nation for current COVID-19 cases. Finally, today, for those of you thinking of, th of taking a wellness break down to the Sunshine State, you might want to wait until summer. 
With a surge of spring breakers in the last few weeks, the city put a curfew in place in hopes of controlling the crowds in South Beach. The curfew and road closures go from 8 p.m. to 6 in the morning, and it will stay that way through April 12th. So you may want to take a trip somewhere a little more local. And that's going to do it for this edition of Carolina Insider, a student production here in the Kennedy Greenhouse Studio in the School of Journalism and Mass Communications. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.